Dear Professor, I couldn't help but notice you gave me a 34% for the year, and I'm going to need you to bring that grade up a little bit. The reason my grades have been slipping lately is actually because my uncle's friend's kid's dog just had babies and one of them got hit by a car. My car. I accidentally killed my uncle's friend's kid's dog and now my uncle's friend's kid is depressed, which honestly has been weighing on my heart lately. And also, other than that, if you fail me in this class, I'm never going to get into graduate school and I'll never be able to get my doctorate. And then even more people will die. If you fail me in this class, people will die and it will be your fault. The way I look at it is this. Why would you give me a failing grade? Yeah, I didn't do my homework, but there are literally homeless people everywhere. You should put more of your focus and energy on that if you really care so much. I even asked my mom and dad if they think my grade is fair and they agree with me. It's not fair. So anyway, please update my grade and I would appreciate it so much. Thank you. That email was actually part of an assignment in which I ask students to pretend it's the end of the semester and they're failing because they didn't do the work. And they're supposed to write me an email arguing for why they should pass using logical fallacies. Logical fallacies are errors in reasoning and learning them can help us spot misleading arguments. Learning logical fallacies can be challenging though. And that's where this assignment comes in. By creating arguments using logical fallacies, students learn how the fallacies work. In this assignment, I have students post their emails to a discussion board where they also have to tell me in a comment the fallacies that they used and how they used them. And then they read other students' emails and spot the fallacies that they used in their arguments. The directions also narrow the fallacy choices to about 10 to 12. I required them to use four and they're told to have fun. Somebody really wants to be on camera. For more on this assignment and others, visit thinkingispower.com or mentalimmunityproject.org. And now for the grand reveal. What fallacies did that student use in their email?